Welcome back to Briggs on Books. We're talking to authors today from all over the world about their books and uh, their experience in writing a book and getting it published. And hopefully you'll find one of the books interesting today and order it. That's, I think that's our top goal. Our next guest is an author, Julia A. Swanson. Well, welcome, Julia. Hi there. Tell us where I, you are today. Julie, just Julie, Julie. not Julia. Okay. Oh, yeah. it's Julie A. I get it. Julie yeah. A. Swanson. Yeah. Julie, where are you located? I live in Charlottesville, Virginia. Are, is that near the coast? No, that is right. It's called Central Virginia. Central Virginia. Okay. Right smack in the middle, yeah. Now, your book, it's for it's a young adult uh, uh, novel, and as we talk, I love and you love to read <laughs> young adult and middle, middle school books and stuff like that. Tell us about your book. Well, my book was inspired by my dad's death, and at the time, I, what made me write it was I went to a workshop run by Highlights for Children, you know, the, you see those magazines with the dentist and doctor. <laughs> I've been but reading that since the 1950s. Yeah, they held a, um, I think they still hold an annual summer, like a workshop retreat at Chautauqua in New York. Uh And I went to that one year and I met um, one of the employees of Highlights who was also a young adult author. His name is Rich Wallace. He wrote boy sports books. And at the Mm -hmm. time he'd written a book called uh, Wrestling Sturbridge about a wrestler. And um, I was talking to him one day over lunch and he said, my editor is really looking for an author who can write uh, believable, you know, something that rings true for girls' sports, but she's having a hard time. Like, either the story might be good, but it doesn't sound like the way a girl athlete yeah. would talk nowadays or whatever. So he said, do you have anything in mind? And I had already written one, and but he wanted young adult. That's what his... So I, I had an idea for what I could do, and he told me that if I did it, he would help me out through it, get it to the point where he thought it was good enough for his editor to take a look at it and pass it on to her. And she was at uh, Viking. So I was really excited about that, you know, someone off- offering to mentor you like that. And the advice he gave me was not to pick out the sport that was your sport. And my sport was basketball. So the sport I next knew a lot about was soccer because my husband's a college soccer coach, women's soccer coach. So um, I made the athlete um, be a a girl soccer player at a very high level. And the whole idea for my book was um, I had noticed a couple young female athletes who had their dad die right in the middle of their season. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting to me how they reacted very differently. And I had sort of in my own mind often thought, I wonder how I would have reacted if my dad were to die while I was playing. So this book is kind of that question. And at exactly the same time, I was 31 at the time, my dad was dying. Mm. So it just seemed like a. I had so many journals. I I always keep a journal, so I had a record of my feelings and thoughts and the progression of his illness and everything. So I kind of combined that and imagined myself as a really sports-obsessed kid like I was in high school and your dad's dying. Yeah. And we see this in real life, as you said, a, an athlete, a, a girl athlete or a male athlete, their, their, their parent dies the day before the game, the week before the game, and, and some decisions have to be made. I would imagine this book tackles that issue. Right. I, the, the first girl that I had had it happen with was actually a good friend of mine in high school, and her freshman year playing basketball in college, her dad died that mm-hmm. first fall, and she got really disillusioned with how important basketball was in her life and she actually had a hard time continuing in the season because part of her felt like she should quit and go home and be there with her family Mm -hmm. and then the second girl whose dad died also during um, a false this was my husband's player during soccer season she came back more fired up than ever and wanted to win one for the gipper and yeah I kind of looked at her and thought, wow, that's amazing. Given that my other friend, I could kind of relate to what Mm -hmm. she'd gone through. I thought I'd be somewhere in the middle, like, um, you know, that I might struggle a little bit, but that I wouldn't think about quitting. Right. And Now, interesting that I hope these young people who read this book can relate because a lot of them, whether they're in sports or not in sports, go through this exact same thing, losing a parent and having to face that and move on. Right. So not, not only was the book kind of cathartic for me to, mm-hmm. you know, but it also was a way for me to share a lot of things that I had found through my dad's death that were comforting or a way of looking at things that helped me. And 
And also you just, when, especially when you're young, you feel just very alone in a lot of your emotions, like you're the only weirdo in the right. whole world who never thought or felt the things you have. And so I kind of wanted to point out those things that I later found out, no, I wasn't alone in having that, that a lot of people feel that, even though it seems like it's, you feel guilty about it or strange or whatever. One thing I neglected, Julie, is putting the book cover up. So, And we have two versions of the cover, is that right? Right. They're, they're really similar. They just yeah. change the font from the first edition to the second edition. Yeah. So whichever one you want to bring well, it up. Regardless, either one, they're both very striking covers. And, you know, I, as a person who's always having to pick my next book that I'm going to read, you know, the cover really helps. So these are yeah. striking covers. Now, by the way, we have on the screen your web address. Uh, if our viewers wanted to check you out, what are they going to find at Julie, julieswanson.com? Um, that is my website, or my, I always get my, I think that is my website, yes. Um, they'll find, you know, a, a page that's about the book, basically, and, and then another page about other things that I write, and about me page, a uh, page where I offer some things to write other writers, mm -hmm. um, suggest good book, writing books, things like that. Yeah. yeah, and that's kind of the theme of our shows, is so many of our viewers are, are writers, but they just haven't yet got published, so... When, when we get some pointers from an old, I don't want to say an old pro like you, but a pro, you did it. You got it uh, written, it, you yeah. finished writing it, and actually got it published. So very nice. And it, it's a very hard thing to do. I've been trying to do it again for many years, and I get close. I get a book that goes to acquisitions, and then they decide no. Mm -hmm. So, and I, and I keep trying, and I have another book that someone's interested in right now. So it's not easy, even after you yeah. do do it. Yeah. Um, we are coming up against the time. Usually I ask the author who should read this book, and certainly young adults who read. Um, and like I said, I like to read the, these books. And who else Who else would like this? Well, actually, I, I'm surprised at how young a reader will contact me. I have third graders who will write me letters telling me how much they loved it, or I have parents. You know, um, I used to do programs at my kids' schools all the time, and I would have parents coming up to me saying that their third grader or their fourth grader really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And outside wow. of some graphic details about body parts and her dad dying, there's really no reason a girl that young couldn't read yeah. it. Right. So I would say anywhere from elementary to through high school would enjoy the book, and, and a lot of parents have said they enjoy the book too, so... Yeah, so I read, when I entered kindergarten, I was already already reading, and I always resented the books they gave me because of my age. So that's a good point. Let your kid find their, their reading level. Well, thank you, Julie. Last, any last thoughts for our viewers? No, I just thank you for having me on today. I really appreciate it. It's our pleasure. By the way, the most important question is, where can people get this book? Well, right now, uh, it's not really at Barnes & Noble or anything. You can order it on Amazon or barnesandnoble.com, any of the online yeah. sites. You can order it from Erdman's Publishing. It's out there. In fact, right before we came on the air, I did one last uh, research into you, and you were so easy to find on Amazon. It has a nice little blurb about you and, and about the book. So uh, yeah. thank you, Julie A. Swanson, and we want to have you back again. I Okay. Thanks and, a lot. Have a good day. All right. It will be back. We will be back with more Briggs on Books right after this. Okay.